Welcome back to SolidWorks and NC Tutor YouTube channel. Before starting the video, if you are new and haven't subscribed our channel, press the subscribe button. We are going to start the new series of tutorials on SolidWorks surfacing. As we have completed SolidWorks sheet metal complete course and SolidWorks weldment, now we are going to start the SolidWorks surfacing. So let me show you the uh, contents of our course. So in this tutorial, we are going to uh, do some introduction to SOLIDWORKS surfacing and after that we are going to cover all the basics feature of surfacing and we will learn about the knit surfaces and how to convert surface model to solid model. So this will be the complete package for the beginners if you want to learn SOLIDWORKS surfacing. So first of all we will learn that what is the difference between solid modeling and SOLIDWORKS surfacing. So let me show you that what is the mean of surface here. So as you can see this is the basic surface. So the difference between the surfacing and solid modeling is that the mod solid model has some volume and the surface has no volume and is of zero thickness. So if you want to manufacture something or if you want to do the 3D printing, you have to convert your surface to solid. Like if I will convert this surface to some thickness like this. So you can say that now this is a solid model and it has some volume or thickness and it can be 3D printed. So this is the basic of SOLIDWORKS surfacing and the difference between surfacing and solid modeling. So in the upcoming videos we are going to learn about the extruded surface, revolved surface, swept surface, lofted, boundary and all the basic features. So as you can see this model, I have uh, made this model completely with uh, SOLIDWORKS surfacing and I haven't converted this surface to uh, solid body as you can see from below that these all are the surfaces. So I will explain you in the upcoming videos that what are the technique to make these uh, cars with surfacing and how to make complex objects with surfacing. So stay tuned with our channel and wait for the upcoming videos so that you can learn SOLIDWORKS surfacing. Thank you for watching, keep supporting and keep sharing our channel for more interesting videos.